हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज मनीष कुमार टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मैग्नेटिज्म इन सॉलिड्स विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट इन कंडेंस मैटर फिजिक्स सो अवर टॉपिक इज मैग्नेटिज्म इन सॉलिड्स सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट of condensed matter physics uh, before explaining this topic i would like to introduce some basic facts or fundamentals uh, which we have uh, already learned uh, in previous classes so we know all the atom is composed of protons neutrons and uh, electrons that is atom is composed of protons neutrons and electrons okay so the protons and neutrons are collectively called nucleons that is nucleons okay and uh, it is present uh, inside the nucleus of an atom but the electron are negatively charged particles and present outside the nucleus so it is according to bohr's theory that is at uh, electrons are revolving around the nucleus this is nucleus and these are the energy shells so according to bohr concept the electrons are revolving around the nucleus uh, in fixed energy level okay and these energy are quantized in nature so we already uh, know this fact now we discuss the magnetic property of the substances we all know Uh, that the substances are made up of atoms all the substances are made up of atoms and according to their magnetic behavior all the substances are made up of atoms and according to their magnetic behavior these are of different types so types of magnetic materials so the three main classification of these magnetic materials are first uh, it is diamagnetic substances Uh, second paramagnetic substances and third one is ferro magnetic substances okay so the three main classification of these uh, magnetic materials are diamagnetic paramagnetic and ferromagnetic substances uh, apart from these two more that is ferrimagnetic ferrimagnetic and anti ferrimagnetic anti ferrimagnetic substances now we will discuss these all uh, magnetic materials in detail so first we have first we have diamagnetic substances so 
सो स्टूडेंट्स बेसिकली डायबेटिक सब्सटेंसेस आर दोज विच आर फैबली रिपेयर्ड बाय विच आर फैबली रिपेयर्ड बाय मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विच इज फैबली रिपेयर्ड बाय मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके सम कॉमन एग्जांपल्स ऑफ डायमैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंसेस आर कॉपर बिस्मथ प्लेटनम एटसेट्रा सो दोज सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच आर फेबली रिपेल्ड बाय मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज कॉल्ड डायमैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंसेस एंड सम कॉमन एग्जांपल्स आर कॉपर बिस्मथ एंड प्लेटिनम एटसेट्रा दीज आर कॉल्ड डायमैग्नेटिक बिकॉज इन द वैलन वैलेंस शेल ऑफ द दीज एटम्स दीज मटीरियल देर आर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आर इन पेयर इफ वी टेक द सिंपल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कॉपर सो वी नो दैट द कॉपर हैज एटोमिक नंबर इज ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ कॉपर इज वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस टू थ्री पी सिक्स फोर एस वन एंड थ्री डी टेन सो दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन नाउ इफ वी सी इन द वेलेंस शेल दैट इज फोर एस वन सो फोर एस वन फोर एस हैज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द uh in the s orbital and uh, then this is 3d 10 3d 10 now if we see in copper the ground state configuration is 1s1 uh, sorry 4s1 and 3d 10 but if we consider Cu positive, Cu positive that is iron in the ionic form. Then the configuration becomes. It means the in the valence shell we have to remove one electron. So remove one electron from four s. So we get one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, four s zero, and three d. Then, now, we if we draw the orbit diagram, then sorry, there is no any electron in four s. This is three d and this is four s zero three d ten. So we can easily see there is there are all electrons are in pairs so cu positive is a diamagnetic material okay and if we take the example of cu 2 positive so its electronic configuration becomes 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s0 now one more electron we have to remove so it becomes 3d that is 9 so the orbit diagram is 4s0 and 3d 9 so 3d 9 now in this case this is 3d now in this case one electron is unpaired so this is not a diamagnetic material so cu2 positive is not a diamagnetic material and uh, cu is also not a diamagnetic material but cu positive is a diamagnetic material because in the valence shell we have 
all the electrons in pairs so that's why it is called diamagnetic material okay now we have next second paramagnetic substances paramagnetic substances now paramagnetic substances are those which are feebly attracted by which are feebly attracted by magnetic field which are feebly attracted by magnetic field and uh, some examples of these substances are uh, aluminium liquid oxygen etc so these are the examples of paramagnetic substances and uh, basically the paramagnetic substances occurs paramagnetism is uh, occur due to the tendency of magnetic dipole we know that the this is a suppose this is a magnetic material and there are domain magnetic domains as we learned before when this material is placed in the external magnetic field then these magnetic domains get aligned these magnetic domains get aligned in the direction of magnetic field in the direction of magnetic field like this this is a magnetic field okay this is a magnetic field and these domains align in the direction uh, parallel to the direction of magnetic field so this is the basic cause of paramagnetism okay next uh, and uh, one more thing in paramagnetic substances uh, there are unpaired number of electrons that is uh, there is no paired electrons present in the uh, valence shell of the atom okay so there is unpaired electron uh, in this case cu2 positive cu2 positive one unpaired electron is there so that's why cu2 positive is paramagnetic in nature but uh, cu positive is diamagnetic in nature okay i hope uh, it is clear to you now next we have third third we have ferromagnetic substances ferromagnetic substances so ferromagnetic substances are those which are strongly which are strongly attracted by magnetic field which are strongly attracted by magnetic field and we have only limited number of ferromagnetic elements so that are nickel cobalt iron so we have only few number of uh, ferromagnetic materials that is nickel cobalt and iron okay so ferromagnetism is similar to the paramagnetic materials ferromagnetic materials are similar very similar to the paramagnetic one why because this is also suppose this is a material magnetic material and these are the domains magnetic domains these are randomly in all direction before the applying magnetic field and when we apply the magnetic field to the material then these magnetic domains aligned in the direction of applied magnetic 
in the direction of applied magnetic field that is parallel to the magnetic field this is uh, same in case of paramagnetic materials now what is the difference between paramagnetic substances and ferromagnetic substances in uh, paramagnetic substances when we remove when we remove the magnetic field then these domains uh, take their original position like this okay when we apply, remove the applied magnetic field then the magnetic domains turn to their original positions but in case of ferromagnetic substances uh, when we apply when we remove the applied magnetic field then the magnetic domains turn to their original position but some of the magnetic domain uh, remain in the same position in the uh, applied magnetic field for example if we apply the magnetic field then all domains are aligned in the direction of magnetic field but if we remove the magnetic field then some domains are in the applied magnetic field so magnetic prop magnetic behavior in this material retains for some time so it is called ferromagnetic substances okay now when so these this is a ferromagnetic substance so i hope uh, you clear these theme type of material uh, apart from this there are ferromagnetic and uh, anti ferromagnetic we will discuss later now we proceed next in our topic now most of the terms related to magnetism are analogous to electric terms first we discuss those there are some terms which is very similar to the magnetic uh, sorry electric terms so first we discuss those terms we have electric terms and magnetic terms so electric terms we have in electric terms we have electric field electric field that is e vector in the similar way in magnetic terms we have magnetic field that is h vector because uh, these two these are vector quantities now in electric terms we have electric displacement electric displacement that is d vector in the similar way we have magnetic induction magnetic induction that is b vector so next is in electric term we have uh, uh, electric susceptibility electric susceptibility denoted by xi e and in the similar way in magnetic terms we have magnetic susceptibility magnetic susceptibility that is xi m in electric terms we have electric dielectric constant dielectric constant that is epsilon and in the similar way we have in magnetic terms that is permeability magnetic permeability that is mu in the electric term we have polarization polarization capital p vector 
and in the same way in magnetic terms we have magnetization that is capital M vector next is electric dipole moment electric dipole moment electric dipole moment is denoted by letter I think small p and uh, magnetic moment magnetic moment that is nu vector uh, these are different it is a scalar quantity that is permeability and it is a vector quantity magnetic moment mu vector in the same way uh, polarization is capital P vector and uh, dielectric uh, sorry electric dipole moment is small p vector and uh, next we have uh, in electric terms that is polarizability alpha uh, corresponding to this uh, we don't have anything in magnetic terms okay so there is no any polarizability in uh, magnetic terms so these are the uh, terms which relates each other uh, their origin is basically same in terms of electric uh, uh, component and in terms of magnetic uh, component so these are